Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Potion Craft. Today we are finally gonna make our way to the Philosopher's Stone. The next step on this path is Albedo. So let me let me just put this crystal in here real quick. Next up, I need a necromancy potion. Yeah, let me brew one of those for you. And then a sun potion. A little sun potion. And I guess that's it. I guess I got to go making things now. Well, for easy potions, I'll do a slow down, fast growth stone skin. Now, slow down is down here. So at least they're all in the same vicinity. Yeah, a good little mushroom start. And then I'll just start bringing it down. All right, I'm going to do one brown mushroom just to mix up a little and make sure I'm not completely destroying myself. Because now I want to do a goblin shroom just to get the hell out of these bones. Then I can mix it up with a bit more brown shroomery. I'll let you do a weird shroom here. It does line up a little bit more cleanly. And then afterwards, I mean, just in the, probably another weird shroom to be honest. Good enough. Tier 1. Yeah, I'm going to be sure to do it in the right order. Let's see. It is fast growth next, which just needs water. Oh, maybe a little bit more than just water. Okay, I could have done this a touch better. That's fine. I mean, what's a single fire bell ever do to you? Not even going to mix that. And then stone skin. Yeah, this is fine anyway. So now, yeah, just got to make it there. Probably a red mushroom. Have it be about here. Yeah, that should dodge it real well. Beauty. Beauty, okay. In a doubt in my mind that this will be fine. Not a doubt. Not even a quarter of a doubt. Save that recipe. And what I want to do, I want to have a different section for the albedo, maybe here, because I know I'm going to have to make that multiple times. Next up, two st stone skins, two slows. Okay, I can do that. Away we go. So here, and then... Ooh, that doesn't move how I'd like it to. Guess, uh, Terrari... Mmm! I need something that moves down, but isn't an asshole. Is it gonna have to be the brown mushroom? I mean, I guess weird shroom technically works. I was hoping to go through it, like, on the way down, and then just get a head start to over here. Oh, I can't believe how these unfortunately line up. Like, I could do a little Terraria, and it wouldn't be the biggest deal. Actually, it wouldn't be that big a deal. I th a little bit of water with Terraria ain't never, ain't never hurt anybody. I don't know what I'm saying. Because look, this second go around, yeah, that, that'll that line up real nicely. Perfect. Like, th yeah, that's that's really good. And yeah, it gives me a head start here. I was thinking a marsh room to follow it up would just be excellent. And it is. Hold on, let me do a little bit less on that marsh room. There seems pretty good. Next up. Yeah, there we go. That'll be perfect. Just tier two is all I need. So I'll probably have to do a little water, but that's how I planned it. And that's all you need. That's not even that big a recipe. Save it, finish it, sort it out, put you in right here. Now I need a sun explosion fire. Okay, again, at least they're all close to each other. And then maybe a sulfur shelf here. Looks pretty good to me. To about... Here, just gonna play it safe and just tier one. Ooh, I gotta level up. Do I want anything? Oh, I don't have anything good to spend it on. Shame. Whoa! <laughs> what is this? Hold on. It's because I was eating it. We all right. It took me to the center of the whirlpool. Oh, and then trying to escape while it's still spinning sucks me back in. Oh, so now I gotta wait for it to stop bubbling. I took for a ride. I was scared I was gonna get yeeted. 
like once I made it to the center. I'm glad it just pulls you in and there's no spit out afterwards. Alright, so that's how you get to the whirlpool. And actually, look at this. It lines you up pretty cleanly for a nice sulfur shelf. It's sad that I only need a tier 1, because by god, this is good looking. I'll, uh, yeah, not overdo this. Thankfully, it doesn't suck me in there. Now, yeah, water it is. XP be damned. Might have to just bring it all the way back. I mean, that's fine. Three fire bells. Okay, this probably wasn't necessary, but yeah, three fire bells is what I'll need. Or maybe a fire bell and a red mushroom? You know what? That'll line up. It's even better. A better recipe just has more ingredients usually. Not always. Sometimes there's simple good recipes, but mine are anything but. I will put you with the rest. And this went, yeah, right on the right side. So my right side is complete. I have four potions left to go. I'll do the invisibility magic bounce next. So invisibility magic bounce, okay. Okay, if there's any potion to test out whether the order is important on, it's this one. Because I could go to the farthest one first and then double back, or I might just be able to go on a little road trip. One, two, and three. So I'm going to try that one, see if it works out. If not, I'll have learned a valuable lesson. Now this witch mushroom, I don't want to mash all the way. Because what I want to do afterwards, hold on, let's, let's get the tier one first. Because all I need is tier one. And then I want to just go north to the bounce. I don't have that much more that just goes north. I mean, I'll still keep using wind blooms, but if I'm going to run out of anything, it's going to be wind blooms. Okay, it looks like I'm using a couple wind blooms here. A couple and a half, I think. I think I'm going to do this much and then teleport up. Or maybe go to the right first. Yeah, do, the cloud crystal doesn't even land it for me. I'm going to just come back with water. And then we'll go to the right. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Okay. And tier one incoming. All right, I hope this will work. I'll save this recipe in case it does. I can always delete it later. I mean, it has the exact ingredients, just the wrong order. Let's try it. Oh, that's good. You can have any order. I'm glad I learned that now. And now that should help me save even more ingredients on these further recipes. I got to do two flight, two charm, and one lightning. Okay. So I go lightning into charm into flight, it would seem. Well, let me do it like this. Here and then, oh, Thunder Thistle does line up for once, and it lets me keep going. So this is one time I'm cool with a Thunder Thistle, and I just need a tier one. All right, two Charm. I think I'll have to use half a Wind Bloom here, and maybe I'll bring it up a touch, so I can do a Sulfur Shelf coming back, and maybe another Sulfur Shelf will get me there. I think with some water it should. Just tier two, and that looks pretty on course. Let's see though. Oh, are you kidding? No, come on. Just in case, I'll do a little bit more water, but it's not gonna happen. It's just not. Okay, is there anything that goes left then right? This is all just a shame. I mean, that's fine. Half a fire bell. Give me that tier two. And then two things of flight. Maybe I could have tried to go up more so I could like teleport across the bones up there. I could still do that. I might cleanly line up. So, oh, this, this is pretty perfect. That's as good looking as it's going to get. I think there's going to be a little bone collision, but nothing that will ruin the potion. Just barely should be fine. With that teleportation right here. Woo, okay. And we'll bring it a touch to the right. Water Bloom might undershoot. I'm a little worried about that. I think I'll just do a Chanterelle. That'll 100% get there. You never know. 
That's an okay recipe. Overused a little, but honestly, I think it's worth saving. It's damn expensive, though. All these recipes are really gonna drill a hole in my wallet. Thankfully, just two more potions to go. So now I need two hallucinations, two magical vision, and one mana. So one, two, then two. That's not too bad. We're gonna, yeah, tier one of mana. Let's do it. I think I'm actually gonna take it all the way up to here. Just need a tier one, but I wanna overshoot just so I can go around real easily. There we go. And now I should just need, yeah, water blooms are good. Do I have anything better? Tangoweed's a little bit too risky there. Let's just take the bloom. And hopefully a goblin shroom? It looks good. Oh, green mushroom is better by a lot. It's safe. And yeah, it's by far the superior play. I'll even take it all the way to here just to get a little bit extra out of it. No stress at all. Tier 2. And just tier 2 hallucination now. Maybe a witch mushroom helps here. I need to get up there. I can do a witch mushroom into a cloud crystal. Oh, why don't I try this? I'll do it. Just in case that is a little bit too far, I'll just put it to here and now I'll cloud crystal because I'm just going to wind bloom afterwards and that should be more than enough. Probably. Boop. And... Wind bloom sucks here. Okay. Surely the thunder thistle will save the day. I think thunder thistle is just about perfect in in its first cutback. Just barely should get me tier 2. This would be terrible for tier 3, but tier 2 is just enough. Alright, kind of a pricey recipe. I mean, a lot of witch mushrooms. I'm really running out of those, but I'm still gonna save it. A cloud crystal isn't that bad a price to pay. Alright, one more recipe for this. This is getting out of hand. Put you in right here. And now we got the double invisibility, double bounce. Oh, this one's easier than the previous one, for sure. Yeah, double bounce, double invisibility. Maybe I'll use some thunder thistles this time, like one witch mushroom into a bunch of thunder thistles. Yeah, that's the play. I think, yeah, the, I thought the thunder thistle itself would be pretty solid. I just need tier two, so it should be good enough. There we go. Almost got tier three, actually, funny enough. And then... I do think I need to go to the right. I think Water Bloom should be just enough. Let's make sure it's fine. It is. Can I do another Thunder Thistle? Nah, it's too, uh... Too fat. I guess Wind Bloom it is. Wind Bloom's kind of awkward, though. Do I have to Chanterelle it? I mean, Chanterelle's fine with water. Yeah, Chanterelle's fine with water. I don't know what I'm worried about. Add a little water. And it should be safe. I lose a little water I lose a little bit here hopefully that doesn't matter eh, there's a world in which it matters let's uh bail out yeah okay there we go it wasn't a full bailout but it was kind of scary mm, looks like I'm doing wind bloom the only thing better is cloud crystal I I'm okay with the wind bloom who knows maybe this will magically be a tier two and it won't be that big a deal probably won't be but even if it's not it's really close okay that's fine yeah, a little fire bell. Never hurt anybody. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Finally done. And save the recipe. Finish this up. For the love of God, finally a little bit of progress in this. <laughs> this is this is way more ingredient is exhaustive than I ever could have imagined. We have everything made. It's time for the albedo. Here it all trains. Lovely process. My god. 500 XP. Citr Citrinitus recipe unlocked. Okay. Okay. What are we looking at now? Next thing. We need the... Of course we need the albedo. And then these almost seem easier to make. Because I start with tier 3s. Sure, they're probably even more ingredient exhaustive. Oh, and some of these look really challenging, but you know what? I think this is a step up. 
Take a look. Yeah, I think we'll try to do this next. 